What's up guys? It's Apollo here. How are my knights doing? Are you ready for more medieval adventures? Uh, and this one's gonna be a good one because we're getting close to building that trebuchet, which is really exciting. So, we're not actually quite where we left off. We're actually a little bit before that. I, I thought I saved the game. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I was saying I was going to the tavern. I did sleep in the tavern, but it didn't save and I quit out and I had to replay the dice uh, to, to take that guy's money and then finally we just spoke to Conrad here and this is where he's freaking out about someone trying to kill him. So we've gotten past this a little bit in the last episode but it's okay to retry this again because I don't think we made it that far anyways. So if we look at our quest, we gotta find out about, about this more about this guy and then watch for the assassin at midnight. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm not sure actually what time is it, let me see. What is it? Okay, so uh, we got a little bit of time here. Let's go to the tavern again, ask some questions. I'm pretty sure in the last episode we asked like everyone. We're going to go ahead and do it again. Maybe we'll get different information this time. I don't know. I doubt it. Um, let's actually, you know what? Let's wash ourselves. That might help a little bit with, uh, you know, making us look a little bit cleaner. I don't know. Just a little something there, you know, get the dirt off, get the dried blood off, <laughs> and we could go and try to speak to these people. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I hope you guys brought your snacks and drinks. Um, I'm gonna try to make this one an hour long. I don't know how much longer we have of this uh, Let's Play. Uh, I feel like we're coming to the conclusion here, which is kind of kind of sad, you know? Like, I don't, I don't want it to end, I just want more medieval adventures. Uh, but here is the tavern, and we can go ahead and start asking questions. Good pebbles. Good boy. Okay. So what do we got here? Come here, townsman. I'm at your service, sir knight. <laughs> okay. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? Certainly. Oh, they say he's come to do some trading. At least that's what Peter reckoned. Says he diced with him at the inn. Okay. Was that it? That's all we needed to do? Updated. A. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Oh, I just said I'm go to the tavern. You do you know anything about our master Paycar? That nobleman that showed up recently. Oh, yeah. They say he's... Yeah, we're at the local inn. Okay, thank you. Maybe he's up sleeping. Let's see. I'm curious. I wonder. No. Sorry, dude. Not to interrupt your sleeping sesh. That doesn't open. Let's see if he's sleeping. I didn't actually check the rooms. Yeah, no one's in here, so... We'll just keep that open. I doubt we're going to be able to find him. Uh, I think... Wait, who's this? Well, look what we got here. Hello. Jesus Christ be praised. I couldn't find him last time. Would you be Master Paycar? I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scalitz. And what do you want from me, Henry of Scalitz? Everything. Why did you come to Sasau? To ask why you've come to Sasau. An interrogation then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? Okay. My trade partners are my own private concern. Stay away from Master Keezer. Stay away Master. from Master Keezer. Keezer. Keezer? Conrad Keezer? Why should I want anything to do with him? So he doesn't need to worry about you? Worry? Good Lord, no. Why? We were friends. Sounds like Keezer's a little paranoid. Right. That'll be everything. Okay. As the master instructs. Okay. Well, uh, thank you, sir. Look at, I mean, you know when you're so rich, your clothes just look goofy? Like, good God, he's got different colored pants legs. He just looks like a goofy goober. Okay, well, that's that part of the quest. Um, so what do we need to, what do we need to do now? Watch out for the assassin at midnight. Okay, so we've got to go back. I'm good, man. We got to go back and look for an assassin um, that's been lurking in the garden. It kind of like near where Keezer is staying. 
Um, I tried to do this the last episode. I didn't have any luck. I don't know if I just didn't wait long enough. Uh, but we're gonna basically try the same thing here. I have a feeling it was it's gonna be the guy we were just talking to. Are you not wearing pants? Oh, you are. They're just skin color. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you're fabulous. Okay. I'm not blind. Are you wearing pants? Alright, so we're gonna go, um... I mean, I guess we need a better spot to hide in, I assume. I'm not really too sure. Um... I guess in the bushes somewhere. We could... This... I mean, this is not great. I mean, maybe right here. This is where we hid last time, though, I think. Anyways, let's wait a little bit past midnight and see if we, uh, come across anything. Usually when an event is happening, it will stop loading and just, you know, show you what's going on. So let's see, we're past midnight. Anything happening here? No, just slowing down because we're about to reach the, the end. Let me hit cancel. It's going to be a little dark here, guys, but let's see. I don't see anyone yet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, wait a bit, a little bit longer. If it doesn't interrupt us soon, the only thing I can think of is that I'm not hiding well enough. So let's try right there. I don't know. That are gonna wait a whole another night from when he told me. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't see anyone. No one's at the door. Because the guy said someone was trying to get in the door. But nobody seems to be here. So let's just wait a little bit longer, I guess. We'll try it four. Maybe. Hmm. So we'll try it right here, but the sun's about to come up. I don't see anything. Dude, I think you're just going crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. Maybe if we hide in here? I don't know, I think we're kind of out of time though. Like we might have, have to wait until next night. Maybe right here. This might be a better hiding spot. Let's just try again. See if anything happens. Okay, well, I just felt like I wasted everyone's time. What the hell? I guess I'm not hidden well enough. I mean, that's that's the only thing. Or maybe I need to take off my armor and put on something darker. I don't know. But what we're going to do is probably sleep through the day. We can try talking to Kaiser, Kaiser or whatever, Kaiser again. Um, and see what he says. Okay, yeah. Well, did anybody try to get in? Because I was here all night, man. And I can't be your personal servant. Okay. God save you, Henry. After all this time. Dude, you need to try to relax. Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh no, I can't. Jesus, look where you're going. Oh no, I can't. Damn. Yeah, I can't talk to him. So obviously I did something Sorry. wrong there. Um, so we're gonna try again the next night. I know it's early morning, but I guess I'll just go to the tavern. Maybe it'll save the game. At least we had some progress by talking to the guy. Um, Pebbles, just follow me. Welcome, Henry. Welcome. I'm gonna get some food. Oh, I guess it's not ready. Hmm. All right, let's just go to the tavern then. Oh, Pebbles, that was quick. So we'll go to the tavern and we'll get some sleep. Maybe the game will save, which will be good, because we did make some progress there. And we'll also eat some food at the tavern. So yeah, my human bow. I'm pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I found that pretty early, huh? I'm sure there's a better bow than it, but it's cool to have the human bow. Okay, um... Hello. 
All right, we got some food. We're gonna sleep up. We also don't have a hundred health, so it'll probably be good to just sleep. And we'll see what we can do. I wonder if I could just... I'm gonna take off my armor. Give myself a better night's sleep. Oh, by the way, guys, I was looking at... Because I recorded a bunch of these episodes in one sitting. And <laughs> you guys hate, hate this, this shirt right here. So I'm probably going to have to replace it here soon. <laughs> so I've never actually put away my armor and tried to uh, sleep. So let's see if that improves my comfort. Oh yeah, 80%. I think it makes me heal faster. But we're actually going to wait until night. So we're going to sleep during the day. Stay up during night. We're probably going to get some food too. Because we're going to be a little hungry. Uh, not starving, but enough to eat another handful of stew. Whatever he does. Because you never see him with a bowl. He just... I assume he just like puts in his gauntlet and just... Yeah, we're at 63. So here we go. Attempt number two on trying to find this guy. Hmm. Nice little sleep there. Full health. Let's go ahead and put my armor back on. There we go. And then my helmet. Looking fly. Let's go ahead and Here, eat some just stew. As you ordered. Oh, okay. Okay. Eat from pot. Thank you. <laughs> A little glitchy there. God All right. Save. God save. Okay. Well, now what we're gonna do is, like I said, try this once again. We're gonna hide in that little room over there. It's pretty dark. Oh, cow. And I wonder if it's because we're kind of out in the open that we're having these issues, which might be the case. But you know, that's just how it goes. That's why I like RPGs, you know? Like sometimes it takes a while to get things right. And if you just can't figure it out, there's always guides, but I always recommend not getting guides unless you're like looking for herbs. <laughs> you know? Or you just can't beat a mission. Okay. Alright, we're gonna hide in here. We could go up here. I'm curious, what's up here? I wonder if, I wonder if we can like look through a window. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, there's a private area. Well, you know, I might as well help myself try to improve my lock picking skills. There we go, lock picking. All right, see? What do we got? Uh, nothing padding. Nothing really worth it. Uh, but we got some skills, so that's that's what's worth it. Let's go to lock picking. Sexually, you success successfully picking a lock. You have a twenty percent chance of any broken return to your inventory. That's pretty good. Your lock picks will be more durable and twice and last twice as long. I like that one. Okay, so we're gonna creep right here. Pebbles, go hide somewhere. And we're gonna try this again. We'll stop it right at twenty-four. That should be midnight. See if anyone... Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Well, dang it, I might have to look up a guide if we don't get this, like, soon. Oh, oh, what's that? Who's this? What do we have here? Excuse me, sir. Oh, look who it is! Halt! What are you doing here? Cry for God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. Silence! For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? You told me to my face you were here purely for business. <laughs> that Master Kiza had him, no Henry. reason to fear you. And then you I catch him. you sneaking up to his door. Kiza? He's living here in the monastery? Well, yes. 
right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And I've come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. Oh, well. Just, you know, like most problems in life. It's just like, it's not as bad as you think. I think I believe you. This guy seems... All right. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. But stop creeping around here at night and trying to break into the house. Conrad is scared half to death and I need him in his right mind. Very well. That does sound like Conrad. I'll think up some other plan. All right. Bye. <laughs> I have the key, so... I better close this. I don't trust that guy too much. God be with you, Henry. Hello. Dude, good news, man. Good news. Well, did you find anyone? I did. I did? And? You needn't fear. I kept watch the whole night and nothing happened. A few folk passed by, but nobody dangerous. Uh, what about Pekar? Are you saying he has no malicious intentions? None. He's just doing some trade with the custodian. That's what brought him to where you were. Well, if you're sure. But I'd still rather lie low for a while. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. Easy peasy. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. You probably should wait until morning, though. I don't trust the guy too much. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so guys, I don't know if you heard that beeping. That's actually the sound of my wireless headset dying. So I'm going to plug it in. It makes a bunch of weird beeping sounds, so I'm going to edit it out. Okay, cool. So we are back, and I think we're good here. So, yeah, he's on his way to Townburg. And I'm going to go, once I can open the door, I'm going to make my way as well. I just, I'm a little scared. Like, should I escort you just to be safe? I don't. Like, I kind of trust that guy. He seemed pretty innocent enough, but who knows? Maybe he's just a smooth talker, you know? I don't know. I think we'll fast travel and we'll be able to uh, deal with the situation. So, yeah, let's go all the way back to Townburg. Um, we might even... I wonder if I should stop by and get some equipment, new equipment. Because you guys hate the blue uniform. So, I might go back to Rate. Uh, I could go to Sausal. There is a tailor. Let's just stay in Sausal since it's clo so close. We're going to go to Sausal and um, get rid of the blue thing. You guys just hate it. Like, there's so many comments like, it's ugly. It's shit. Get rid of it. It's like, whoa, I thought this was my my let's play. No, I do, I do appreciate the recommendation and stuff and, like, what you guys want to see. Um, but <laughs> I didn't know, like, a piece of clothing would be so controversial, you know? Like... Dang. Sorry. I think the tailor's down here, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Uh, no. Taylor is up this way. By the way, do I have my shield equipped? I do not. Where's my shield? There it is. Also, my bow. What happened to that? Whatever. It's there now. Alright, so I think the tailor is up this way. We still have to wait till morning anyways. Um, but we should be well rested. Is this the tailor? Yeah, that's the tailor. So let's wake up about 10. And that should be good. Uh, we might want to get some food soon. I think I have some food on me, which is good. I got some, like, meats and stuff. I did give a bunch of meat to the monastery, though. Trying to make them happy again. Not really. I was trying to complete that optional quest, which I didn't get done. Because I felt like the monastery hated me. So, I kind of like that though. Like, th like that's a true RPG. And I think this is like so much like, this is an absolutely true RPG. Because your actions really do have, like, consequences. And depending on the approach you take, you know, things could bite you in the butt. But, ah, Taylor. 
Hey, Henry's come to see us. Who are you? Be a bit more careful. Okay. <laughs> Who Jesus are you, people? Christ be praised. I feel like I'm in the Truman Show. All right, let's talk about repairs. Let's go ahead and repair everything. Um, so, yeah, repair that. Could you not? Wait, did I not repair the last thing? Yeah, repair that as well. And then let's go talk about trade. Do you have? Ooh, okay. So what about this, guys? That looks pretty cool. Ooh, this looks even cooler. Yeah, let's go with that. It's nearly a thousand, but that will that will make me look pretty cool. So we'll add that to basket. We'll just sell that because you guys hate it so much and i'll pay 600 whatever that's fine all right guys now we're gonna be stylish okay you happy now i was trying to go with blue because you know oh that looks pretty cool I'm trying to and it matches my shield and stuff I'm trying to go blue for the knights of apollo but damn forget that um we're gonna also go to the armorer also let's change um the horses let's go with uh Hmm. Let's go with this. That probably matches it the most. That looks pretty good too. I like it because of the black. I think that's scallops. That's kind of cool. Isn't Talenberg black and yellow? If I'm not mistaken, and scallops is red and yellow? I'll do that. Just to kind of represent where I've been. Who I, who I represent. I represent scallops. I represent Talenberg. I represent everyone okay so we want to go to the armor uh, I don't know if a battle is about to begin or what but I'm just gonna improve my stuff here I think oh I hear clanging I always forget no I'm not helping you did you just steal from the blacksmith <laughs> hold on okay we're close a little bit further down this way I like the Sasau colors. I love how there's different colors of the different regions that they represent. And uh, it's pretty cool to see that in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. Here we go. This guy should be able to fix it. Even though he's a swordsmith. swordsmith. Good health to you. Good health to you. Let's talk about repairs. You can repair all my armor. Let's haggle a little bit. Make it a little bit cheaper. Let's talk about the problem. Hmm. All right, so. Do 165. Since it's you. Well. Aye. Okay. All right, so let's check us out now. Oh, yeah. We're looking pretty great. Look at me. Look at me. Wait, did we? Let's see. Is everything fixed? Yeah, everything's good. Okay. We're good. We're ready for battle. Weapons repaired, armor repaired. Kira Pebbles, we ride to Townburg to help with the trebuchet. All the way this way. Alright. Let's fast travel. We will fast travel our way. We're hungry as hell, though. Nope. We are starving. Um, so we definitely need to get some grub. Maybe even take a nap. Because <laughs> we're at 77 energy. Which is a little too low for my liking. Especially if something crazy happens. I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's going to take them a couple days to build the trebuchet. Unless it's just like instant. Like, oh, I'm here. We built it. While you were busy repairing your armor, we built a trebuchet. It's like, wow, that's impressive. <laughs> okay. I mean, I gotta save my father, you know? I've already, I've already lost one father. I have two dads. Or so, or so I thought. Or, or, well, I thought I had one dad, but, uh-oh. Cutscene. Maybe we won't get an opportunity to eat. A well-chosen sight. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, 
Not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Burn! Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the <laughs> battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Roquetta? Our missiles, filled with black powder, with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. Wow. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. <laughs> so sad. But I am very fond of Roquetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. He's a little cuckoo. I understand. But that's why I love it. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. <laughs> guys, guys fun, you know? I would hang out with him. Okay, uh... So let's eat something real quick. I'm starving. Alright, hey. You're welcome. God bless you. What troubles you? Nothing. God save you, Henry. I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't that? believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Excuse me, dude. Where is everyone? Quick. What? Get over here. Glad I could be of service. What's happening? I'm truly grateful to you. And the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. You've certainly saved many lives. What the hell? I probably should. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, he gave me a thousand. Right Where is everyone? Quick. <gasps> oh my god, what I thought it? he killed him. What the hell? Dude. He was there to kill him. He was unconscious. Jesus, For a second, I thought he killed him. And I couldn't help him because I was... Is he still alive? No, he's dead. Oh my god, and he has the thing I'm wearing. I could have gotten this for free. I'm taking that back. Dude. This guy's got some... Oh, key, trunk key. Door key. I wonder if that leads to his room. He is an assassin. You, oh my god. I knew it. Are you serious? I knew it. Oh what, man, what I am so glad. Damn. Okay, sorry I rushed through that dialogue, but I was getting kind of freaked out. And then... And then the fact... <laughs> He's actually here to assassinate someone. And then I saw Kaiser or Kieser laying there and I was just like, oh no. I can't believe it. That's hilarious, man. God save you, Henry. Just hilarious. He was right. Kieser was right. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what were we, we were going to sleep. I need to get some sleep. Um, and I think it said wait a couple days for the trebuchet to be ready. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, wait until the trebuchet is finished. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to do the optional stuff because I tried. Nobody wants to work with me. I'm sure I did something wrong, which I'll hear so many times in the comments. Now, remember, I'm a couple episodes ahead of you guys. So let's sleep. Um, we got to wait a couple days, though. We might as well sleep the whole time. God be with you, Henry. So, yeah. Working on the trebuchet. We're only about 30 minutes into this episode. Again, I don't know what's going to happen when we finish the trebuchet. Um, it could be game over. 
could lead to a next battle. Who knows what could happen? Um, but hopefully something fun. Something exciting. Also, I'm starving again. I really need to eat the food I own. I'm eating too much of the stew because that food goes bad. But again, it doesn't affect me because I can eat bad food. It's one of my traits. Okay. You know what? Let's try to get ale again. I know. It's crazy. But I'm going to try to get some ale for the peeps. Okay. And also, let's look at my food. Uh. I wonder. Hold on. I've never actually cooked someone. Something. Oh, it won't let me drop... The meat. Okay. How do you cook the meat? How Whatever. Are you, Henry? So we're gonna try one more ale. Since since we got time, right? Since we're just waiting, we're gonna go to that one guy who actually had ale. Um. He was down here. This guy actually had ale. We're gonna try to talk to him again. And I wonder if it's because of my shape I was in, like. I was a little dirty, but now that I have clean armor, my weapon is clean, maybe he'll work with me. I'm not really too sure. But I just want to try to get these optional quests finished. Um, just to really... No, don't attack. I don't want to get all bloodied up. I'm, I need to look good for this guy. Who might be sleeping at this point. Oh, I'm still hungry. I need to eat. There's probably some stew over here. Okay. This guy would just not budge, you know? I think he's... Oh, he might be up. There he is. Uh, let me wash up here a little bit. Oh, it's dry. Okay. I don't think I need it anyways. Well, you know, I'm going to eat some of your stew, if you don't mind. Let's cook my... Hey, I'm going to cook... Hey! I cooked it. Let's eat it. That sounds much better than... Cook... Yeah. Let's eat. Delicious. There we go. Fully human dustbin. Excuse me. We're coming. Excuse me, sir. Andrew, which is my middle name, by the way. I'm anyway. honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Um. About the beer. Have you still got some beer? Um, let's try this. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdek was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come. All right, he's well, just right now, the same there are three dialogue. noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. Oh! When you put it like that... It worked! A few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd only spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drink it up long before it has time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shits came courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? There we go. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. Wait. That's... What? That... Did I finish the dialogue? Yeah. You got your beer. Do I need to get more beer from other places? I don't know. Let's go back to the quartermaster and try to talk to him. Maybe something new will come out of it. Um, but the quartermaster, all the way back to Talmberg. Here we go. It's nighttime. So, yeah, you know, we might as well do some things as we wait. Instead of just waiting, uh, you know, and just speeding up the campaign, we might as well try to finish up some of the optional quests. And, man, those herb, the herb quests, man, that was brutal. That was my least favorite. 
And of course the uh, monastery thing, which we didn't even finish. Okay, so where's the camp? Uh, I think we need to go here. So, let's do that. Oh, pebbles, you wild animal. Let's go this way. Yeah, so the quartermaster is near the quarry, quor or quarry, whatever. Uh, and we're going to try to... Um, Try to see if anything new comes out of that. I mean, we got some beer, right? He's sending over some kegs. So it should change. I guess we might as well sleep over here. The quartermaster should be right at this table, but of course he's sleeping. So we will wake up tomorrow. Um, if there's anywhere to eat. Actually, how, how am I doing on food? Pretty good. I'm pretty well rested too. I'll just sleep here. I, why does no one sleep here? This is like the best place. I don't know if this is for Sir Hanush. Whatever, Lord Hanush. Alright. We can only sleep five hours because we're already well we well rested. And this is good. We're, you know, speeding up the time so we can get to the trebuchet. I knew that guy, like, was the one where you get the beer from. Because everyone else was just like, oh, we don't have any. See ya. Bye. Get out of my face. Game saved. Awesome. Maybe this is for me. I don't know. Okay. What are we at? We're at 80. Um, I guess we could eat a little bit. It's alright if we overeat, I don't expect to, yeah, we did, but I don't expect to, uh, deal with any bad guys yet. You never know, though. So let's wait until 8.30ish, and see if this guy wakes up, and then we can finish the beer quest, and then hopefully the trebuchet will be complete soon. Though it's only, it's only been about a day and a half, maybe even less, since the trebuchet, they started to build it. Which I'm pretty excited to see what that's all about. How did you get that idea? Well, it's obvious. Have you ever seen a nobleman drink water? Only very occasionally. That's right. They rather drink wine and beer. They only stoop to water in dire need because they know it's not healthy. Well, <laughs> it is true. My sister died as a child before she ever had any beer. <laughs> see? That's just what I'm talking about. Whereas beer, that really is God's gift. But there's water in beer too. Yes, but it gets boiled, and there are those other things that go into it. Water on its own is pure evil. So it's a funny conversation because beer, you know, because the alcohol, it does clean out the beer, you know, so there's less, like, bacteria and stuff in it. I'm honored cool. that a night such... I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern. You're a proper treasure, you are. I'm gonna put a word in about how well you look after us. Like your own kith and kin. No problem. Alright, we finished that objective. And now that, that we've got that out of the way... I mean, the only thing is the monastery thing. Which, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to finish. Uh, so now we can just... I guess we'll head back to the trebuchet, which are, I assume, by those tents, right? As we wait uh, for it to be finished. So cool. I, you know, I did most of the optional stuff, which is pretty cool. I'm sure there's some kind of, like, something good that comes out of it. Like, the men will respect me more, knowing that I got them beer and stuff. I, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, sometimes it makes quests a lot easier. Kind of like, um, Oblivion when you're about to attack the final gate and you've got to, s you got to close all the other gates of the other towns so that they can send soldiers over to help you. Wait, that that's not the right, this isn't the right camp. Oh, it's over on the opposite side. <laughs> Alright, well, let's ride that way, my bad. 
I just don't want the game to end, guys. I mean, I know I could play it again, but it's not going to be the first time, you know? You experience everything great. I just worry that this is it. I worry that this is the end. I could do some side quests. I mean, but I just feel like we should finish it, you know? I don't know. People will get mad. Wait, where am I going? Just go this way. There we go. I believe this is where the trebuchet is being made. Oh, hey! Look at the progress! Hey! I like how they're like, Henry's come to see us. Like, it's optional. Like, no, nah, dude, I'm stationed here just like you. God Look at that. You, That's cool. It's making some great progress, huh? Be a bit more careful. Oh, sorry. Damn. Okay. God be with you, Henry. Well, let's wait here. I'm worried about this bombardment. And, uh... Such a good idea to me. I guess we'll wait until it's ready. And if it's not ready by night, we'll just sleep through the night and uh, get going. Well, we got nine hours. Maybe I should just sleep. That's all right. Kind of curious if the trebuchet is going to look any different. When we wake up. No. What's the same? How are you, Henry? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you? Okay, so we're going to eat from the pot. And then okay. we are going to sleep. And hopefully in the morning, the trebuchet will be ready. We will see. So we'll wake up at, well, we'll do the whole 12 hours, so there we go. I mean, it, it was pretty cool that we did a quest in, be in between instead of just waiting for it the whole time. But we pretty much just waited the whole time. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I guess I could help the monastery, but screw that. <laughs> they hate me. I hate them, you know. So we'll have full energy, full health. And then, uh, I guess we'll just eat again when we wake up and get ready for this part. Get ready for the part. Um, um. Hey. How's it going? All right. Trebuchet still looks the same. Progress you, is slow. What? What the hell are you doing? Go ahead and eat. Oh. Oh, hey. Trebuchet's finished. Okay. Woo, here we go. Oh, a chicken. Now, let's see how strong those walls are. Awesome. Oh, the chicken died. The poor chicken. It's just the first. Don't get disappointed. Uh, that was just the first. Yeah. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Okay. Go watch the trebuchet chat test. <laughs> trebuchet chest, what? Uh oh. Move! Move! God damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish! Sir! They're coming! There's no time! Ooh. Someone bring water! Breathe, man. You'll be alright. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. 
I have a score to settle with him. What? Oh man, thing plot twist. <laughs> That's crazy. Clear out the table, put the map down. Let's strategize. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. You're my they shining will probably armor. be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll <laughs> rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here, and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Tampa. It might just work, but we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Okay. Well, who, who, who do I go with? My part in the battle, sir. I wanted to go with the Scalets, man. Yeah, I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the Excuse men will me. be from Scalots. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. What? But that is... Oh, come on. I'm no hero. Sir, do you really think I'm someone the men could look up to? Henry, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't even be here today. And everyone knows that. Except you, it seems. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But, sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep oh, control of man. the men. Battle mm. time, battle time. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalots men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to Rete. Woo! Game saved, guys. All right, well, I'm going to make this episode. <laughs> you're going to hate me. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter because I want... I want to be more episodes, all right? I want to just slow it down, make you guys wait. This is where we're gonna pause it right here, guys. Oh, there's someone doing a speech, though. God be with you, Henry. All right, now to business. Get ready in the ravine before the bridge to Rovna. We'll drain their blood. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna end the episode here, guys. 10 minutes, 10 minutes short, not a big deal. But the next episode, I assume we're going to have Welcome a great battle. Henry. My equipment is all pretty much ready. I've got arrows. Have my armor is all perfect condition. Um, I got my... I mean, I'm a little dirty, but that's about it. But condition-wise, I'm good to go. Weapon, everything. Uh, so we're ready for the fight. We're ready for glory. And I will see you guys in the next epic part of Kingdom Come Deliverance.